Hi, Paula Roy here with another Taste of Wellington West virtual food segment. I'm really excited to share this with you today. It's about one of my very favorite foods and that's pizza. When I was speaking with the good people at the Wellington West BIA about what makes the food scene so special in our area, we quickly agreed on one thing and that's that there's a lot of pizza. But not just any old pizza, there's a lot of really good pizza. We're so lucky to have an amazing selection, different styles, different toppings, different crusts. So there's literally something for almost every taste when it comes to pizza. So I've rounded up six pizzas from area purveyors and I'm gonna show them to you and tell you a little bit about the businesses and hopefully it'll inspire you to wanna to go out and get some pizza. And this is the first of two showcases, so don't worry if your favorite's not here. I might just be showing it next time. So first up we have Domino's in Hindenburg. Domino's was founded in the 60s and franchises started appearing in Canada in the 80s. Our Hindenburg location opened just about two years ago and they have an incredible array of toppings. You can build your own or they have some preset options and they're all on their website. And they even have four crust options, which I think is pretty amazing. They're one of the few to offer a gluten-free crust, which is terrific. They have a traditional hand tossed. There's a crispy thin crust that's cut in square Chicago style and sprinkled with herbs. And then there's their pan crust, which is cooked in a pan, hence the name, not on a screen like the others. So at their recommendation, I've picked up the most popular pizza at Domino's in Hindenburg, and that is the Pacific Veggie, and this is one loaded pizza. I can see that there are uh, fresh tomatoes and mushrooms and onions, black olives, roasted red peppers, some spinach, and there's mozzarella, uh, provolone, and also some feta. And there's even a sprinkle of fresh herbs on top. So there's a whole lot going on in this pizza, and I can't wait to taste it later. Next up is another neighborhood stalwart, and that's the Carlton Tavern. They've been around since the 1930s, and many people know of the Carlton Tavern because it serves as such an incredible hub for community events and fundraising. Now, they have a diverse pub menu, all the food's really yummy, but their pizzas just fly out the door, and for good reason. They're so well-crafted and just cooked to order. They're really, really terrific. So at their recommendation, I have purchased their signature Carlton pizza, which is gonna be a real crowd pleaser for my family. It's got mushrooms, onions, green pepper, pepperoni, and bacon. And I see it's got a generous amount of cheese as well. So the Carlton from the Carlton Tavern, a really solid choice. The next competitor, it's not really a competition because they're all so good, is Heartbreakers, which is also the newest pizza place in our area. They opened in March and thank goodness for them, their pizzas are so good, they survived opening in the middle of the pandemic and their takeout business has just gone gangbusters. And I should mention that you can also buy their make at home pizza kits through the Bucci Pop Borough Shop online. You get the dough, the sauce, all the toppings, and I hear that that's been a real success story for them too. So Heartbreakers pizzas are really interesting. They have very unconventional topping choices, pretty much not like what you'd find anywhere else. And they're one of the few places to offer vegan cheese as an option. So if that's important to you, now you know where to get it. So this is one of their brand newest creations, and it's called the Billy. And oh my goodness, does that ever look terrific? It's got tomato sauce on the bottom, and there's mozzarella and goat cheese, and then there's kale and sliced red onion, and it's finished with a little bit of grana padano. Now, I opted to have a drizzle of honey added to this pizza, and that's one of Heartbreaker's signature moves. And when I heard of it at first, I was a little skeptical. I thought, I've not ever really experienced that before. And the first time I tasted it, wow, I was instantly smitten. So I highly recommend that as an option if you order a pizza from Heartbreaker's. The next pizza I have to showcase is one I'm excited about because it comes from Anthony's and they're on Wellington West, just about a block east of Holland. And Anthony's has the incredible distinction of having been named by the Food Network as one of the 12 best pizza places in Canada. So that's pretty impressive. They have a wood-fired pizza oven and they make traditional Neapolitan style pizzas. So thin crust and not an overload of toppings. And at their recommendation, I purchased the margarita, which is considered by many to be the quintessential test for a Neapolitan style pizzeria. It's so simple that every component has to be perfect for the pizza to shine. So it's also said to be modeled after the colors of the Italian flag. So the basil covers the green, the cheese, the white, and the tomato sauce, the red. 
And I know for this they use a Fior di Latte mozzarella, which is cow's milk. They do have another pizza with a bubula mozzarella, if you prefer that. And there's a drizzle of olive oil on there as well. And I love the perfectly blistered crust from the wood-fired oven. So this is a really great option as well. And another terrific consideration comes from Cafe Mio. And they've been on Wellington West at the corner of Western Avenue for almost 20 years and have a very extensive array of really terrific Italian food. And the service is also always fantastic there. Robert and his team are just so friendly and capable. So I asked him what pizza he would recommend and he suggested his signature pizza, the Mio. And look at that crust, it looks so beautiful. He did tell me that he purchases dough from the Home of Fresh Pasta in Hindenburg, and that dough is available for you and I to purchase as well if you wanna get into pizza making at home, so that's kind of fun. And on the Mio, we have a San Marzano tomato sauce, grilled chicken, soppressata, which is a kind of salami, roasted red peppers, mushrooms, some goat cheese, and some mozzarella, and that looks just too good for words. I won't say too good to eat because of course it needs to be eaten. And last but absolutely for certain not least is this beautiful entry from Publico which is on Wellington West near the corner of Ross and they opened in March of 2019. And Publico is a Brooklyn style pizzeria so the pizzas are quite thin and they're meant to be eaten in an unusual way. You actually fold the slices lengthwise so that the fillings are kind of encased in the crust before you start to nibble. And they have a lot of tomato sauce based pizzas. You can build your own choosing from the toppings which is great and get it by the slice or the pie so also a nice option but they strongly encouraged me to try their newest creation, which is called the White Album. I love the name. And it is obviously a white sauce pizza. It's got a Béchamel sauce and then their home cheese blend, a little bit of chev and loads of fresh herbs. It is so aromatic. I just, I can't tell you how good this one smells. So this is a pretty amazing selection of pizza, am I right? And all of this in Wellington West. So I hope that this has inspired you to consider a takeout pizza in your very near future. And if you do get one during the Taste of Wellington West, running September 14th to October 10th, be sure to use the hashtag Taste of Wellington West when you post a pic on social media and you'll automatically be entered into our draw. And stay tuned for our next pizza showcase coming up very soon.